Hi guys, today's video is a very important one. It's a very important topic that is important for all of us all over the world. We can't think, oh, that's an isolated problem that they have in Italy. That's only a European problem. No. So we're talking about something, if that occurs, and it is likely, it's not a joke or like making panic or anything. If that thing blows off in Italy, the world's food supply would only last 74 days all around the world. We're talking about this in this video, so stay with me. It starts right now. One of the world's most dangerous super volcanoes is rumbling Europe. Scientists warn that Italy's Campi Flegrei may be awakening from a long dormant period. Campi Flegrei means burning fields in Italian. The volcanic region is also known as the Flegrean fields in English. The Campi Flegrei Caldera is located in the metropolitan area of Naples, with more than 3 million residents at risk. It is considered being one of the most dangerous volcanoes in Europe and the world, as it has been the source of large-scale explosive eruptions in the last 250,000 years. Calderas are volcanic depressions formed as the ground collapses during huge volcanic eruptions. You can see the holes and craters here on the aerial pictures and you can also see how densely populated the areas around the various craters are. Now, as of recent, new deep magma has recharged the shallow reservoir beneath the volcanic area and flooded the overlying hydrothermal system with hot gas, thereby weakening the upper rocks, which led to deformation resulting in ground uplift and fracturing, resulting in an enormous number of earthquakes that have shaken and scared the residents. Fear for residents since a supervolcano sparked a swarm of earthquakes, but a 4.2 magnitude earthquake was the strongest jolt in more than four decades to rattle the volcanic field. It sparked fears that what scientists call a seismic crisis may be underway. This tremor was caught on camera in October. It's a tense time for some locals. The last tremor we had was frightening. It was terrible. Even the small tremors, even the tiny ones, scare us. We're worried because the only option is to run away. But where do we go? Where? When you sleep at night, the nightmare is always there. You just forget the situation and you're on the couch, and then the tremor is there with you. There are big ones and small ones too. Yesterday, for example, we had two small tremors before lunch. So what will happen if this supervolcano erupts? Recently, the Italian city of Pozzuoli has experienced 4,000 earthquake tremors, alarming residents who live in close proximity to this supervolcano. The Campi Flegrei volcano located near Naples, hasn't erupted since 1538, and its largest eruption happened tens of thousands of years ago. That eruption might have contributed to the extinction of the Neanderthals. The increase in earthquakes at Campi Flegrei indicates an increase in volcanic activity at one of the less than 100 supervolcanoes in the world. The tremors, which are growing in intensity, could be the result of magma pushing into the subsurface of the volcano. Researchers recently conducted a study that determined that the earthquakes are weakening the volcano, which increases the likelihood of the crust rupturing. And you can see on the pictures here that roads have been cracking due to the ground lifting. Hundreds of thousands of people living in the shadow of a European supervolcano have been warned it could potentially erupt. Italy's Campi Flegrei, or the Flegrean Fields, has been displaying some very worrying signs of activity in the recent weeks. 
Scientists fear the volcano is a ticking time bomb, and they say that there is a very realistic possibility that it could blow. The news of Campi Flegre's boisterous behavior has obviously alarmed nearby residents, as well as Italy's government. The volcano sits west of the city of Naples and is surrounded by towns and villages with a combined population of 500,000 in close proximity. Campi Flegre dwarfs the nearby Mount Vesuvius, which engulfed Pompeii in 79 AD and destroyed it. When it last erupted, it buried parts of surrounding villages. A whole new mountain even rose from the ashes of the destruction, which we now know as Monte Nuovo. But if it did blow again, we could face a global winter and subsequent food shortages all around the world. World food reserves worldwide would last only 74 days following UN estimates in 2012. A megavolcano eruption could bring the planet to starvation due to a volcanic winter. There are around 20 known supervolcanoes on this planet, and experts think major eruptions have a frequency of one every 100,000 years. When Campi Flegre erupted in 1465, the sky in Naples turned deep azure. In the following month, severe anomalies hit the European meteorological conditions. Very heavy rains in Germany and flooding in Poland. Teutonic Knights castle cellars flooded. Villages disappeared. Four years later, a mini glaciation occurred. Trees did not blossom. Canals froze in Italy, paralyzed by heavy snowfalls. Interestingly, that century featured a series of colder periods called the Little Ice Age. What would occur to our societies these days when world food reserves worldwide would last 74 days only and our systems are so deeply interconnected? What would happen? What could occur in the immediate aftermath of a major volcanic eruption? Consequences of a major volcanic eruption range widely and we would be negligent if we were not contemplating the worse. However, this is not a reason to blind ourselves and state there is nothing we can do to increase resilience of our systems and protect people. The fact that world food reserves worldwide would only last 74 days does not mean we cannot survive a supervolcano eruption. Here are a few consequences of volcanic eruptions beyond the obvious ones. Climate changes occurred. In the past, climate changed with cold snaps. There was a little ice age, although we do not know if the little ice age was a consequence of those phenomena or not. But anyways, unfortunately, scores of humans died, famine struck. Another problem was dust and pumice rafts. Only a few years ago, the small eruption of an Icelandic volcano forced to a halt the air traffic over Europe and transatlantic routes for almost a week. Dust and ashes buried the local area. The appearance of pumice rafts in seas and oceans is a well-documented consequence of large volcanic eruptions. Very recently, a 480 kilometer long and 50 kilometer wide pumice raft floating 0.6 meters above ocean surface appeared near New Zealand. An unusual sight to wake up to. Filmed here by two unsuspecting Australian sailors, 150 square kilometers of pumice stone, the size of Manhattan, floating in the South Pacific. As far as I could see, the sea had turned to this, this uh, field of stone. Some pieces the size of basketballs. If we were standing on the beach, for example, looking at this pumice, it would go to the horizon. Scientists say the mega raft, spotted by NASA satellites, is the result of an underwater volcanic eruption near Tonga in early August. The phenomenon said to occur just twice a decade. It's now reached Fiji. These pictures show the pumice hugging the coastline. That was in August 2012. 
but other rafts also appeared near Fiji in 1979 and 1984 from eruptions around Tonga. Krakatoa eruption in 1883 spewed pumice into the ocean and clogged harbors in Indonesia. Floating pumice rafts can cause problems for ships at sea, including engine stalls. But pumice could clog nuclear power plants, cooling water intakes as well, hundreds of miles away from the eruption, and that's a very, very dangerous scenario. Calderas are more complicated than volcanoes because the exit point of magma is not easy to spot in advance, and that's what we're dealing here in Italy. However, we can monitor seismic swarms and deformations of the crust and win a bit of time to order evacuations. But these evacuations require careful planning and organization. NASA and other groups are reportedly thinking about ways to artificially cool down magma. In the process, they would try to extract beneficial energy. However, the implementation of such solutions is far away and many even question the feasibility. The pumice raft and ash plumes constitute a serious problem. A research group at the University of Southampton in the UK has a computer model tracking the movement of pumice rafts to deliver alerts as needed. Similarly, volcanic ash advisory centers can track ash plumes for air traffic safety. The same goes for tsunamis. That being said, a large eruption with climate alteration magnitude would be a large-scale challenge for humanity, our societies, and possibly our survival. Preparedness should involve local, national, and then international and planetary efforts. Efforts should include dealing with the flow of survivors, relocation, food shortage, and travel difficulties, on top of possible epidemic and ruinous economic backlashes. Listening to the news, being ready to leave are good rules and disaster-prone areas anywhere in the world. Have a survival baggage ready, park the car with a full tank, ready to go. It does not cost much, but it could save your life. Guys, if you like this video, I hope I didn't scare you, but it is very important that we are all aware and we have to closely monitor the Campi Flegre and I will keep you updated about all that on this channel. And I will also up keep you updated about what's going on in Iceland, in the Reykjanes Peninsula. We might have a potential eruption there very, very soon as well. So guys, if you want to stay updated, it would be awesome if you could leave this video a like, but subscribe so that I can see you here again on my channel. Thank you for your continued support and see you soon. Bye bye guys.